moving from Atlanta all the way to Indiana with cars by Cage Sipes. I'm made, yeah, damn right. On stage is popping collars. I'm making a bigger dollar. When the engine holler, the women follow to see the problem. See, he got impalas the same color as Polly, and I ain't got to pimp my right. Hey, this is Cape Sipes from Custom Audio Reimagined here with another review. Um, this isn't actually going to be a review, though, because I'm not really going to be using the product and showing you it being used because there's really no way to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is expose the product. So this is more of an exposure than it is a review to let you guys know that this actually exists and that you can get it for half the price of most other companies selling. All competitors need to have a power supply. The biggest disappointment that anybody can have coming to a show or going to a show as a spectator is to walk into a giant venue and see 300 cars in front of them and none of them are open. None of them are able to play their systems because most large competitions are held indoors and that venue you cannot run your car indoors you're gonna kill everybody so you can't have your car running indoors because of the exhaust so if you don't have a power supply or a power supply large enough for your system, because if you're a competitor, you can easily have two, three, four hundred amps of current that you run, but you don't have a power supply large enough, then you can't run your system. So basically, I walk around and I stare at cars like I'm at a car lot, but I don't get to see any of them play. I don't get to see the insides of them actually on, because you don't have the power on tap to turn them on. That sucks. And most competitors are holding all the juice they can because they're waiting for the judges to come around. So as a spectator, it's a complete waste of our time to come. It, there's no reason. And guess what? Spectators are what keep your industry going. Because you as a competitor, and the competitors that are in all of the competition circuits for car audio, they don't generate enough income for the organizations to stay alive. That is why the decline in all the shows. All you got to do is look at my YouTube videos, the DB Drag World Championship competitions in 2003. Look at how beautiful that show was. That was just one organization. That's how the shows used to be. They were badass or amazing, glitz and glamour, girls, bikini contests. They were just, they were awesome to go to. You spend three days there and you had a ball. I can't say the same for the shows nowadays. And that's because there's no money behind the companies. So if you could get spectators, if you can get more people through the door, then that's more money generated and therefore there's more money in the industry to put on those cool shows. And you're going to get the companies to support. But if none of you have your cars open for me to look at, then it's a waste of my time. That's my soapbox. So, your excuse for not having your car open is, I can't afford a power supply. Well, here's the answer. PowerMax power supply. The PowerMax PM3-100, a 100 amp power supply, which is actually pretty freaking huge when it comes to terms of power supplies. That's a lot of current, 160 bucks. You can find it all over the internet for $160, as opposed to $300 for an 80 amp power supply. Now, why is this one cheaper? Why is it why is it half the price of the of the 80 amp? That doesn't make sense. It must be junk. It must be something wrong. No, the thing is, PowerMax does not market their product to the audio industry. PowerMax is marketed to the RV industry, and the RV industry it's a hundred and sixty dollar power supply. If I were to slap a car audio company's name onto this power supply and try to sell it through another audio company, all of a sudden it becomes three four hundred dollars. That's a hundred amps, so it'd be a four hundred dollar power supply. Does that make sense to anybody? It doesn't me. It pisses me off. There's no reason for it. So if I can go over to the RV industry and find a 100 amp power supply for $160, why the hell would I buy an 80 amp power supply that's in the audio industry? Because the only thing you're paying for is that stupid sticker that's on the power supply. So, back to what we're talking about, because I'm a soapbox a lot here. I'm going to go on little rants because it makes me mad. Because it's just blatant abuse and greed is all that is. If you want to take it over to the audio side at 160 in the RV world, if you want to mark it up 10 or 15% over in the audio side, that's fine. Do what you want to do. But don't jack it up double. Jacking up double makes me lose respect for your company, and I'm not going to support you because you're killing the industry. Now, why is this power supply any good? Well, the power supply is pretty badass, I got to say. The company was nice enough to send me two of them because some power supplies, if you don't know this, are very cool in the fact that they can be parallel. In the world of electronics, you may think that you can parallel a power supply and double its amperage output. It's not how it really works. Unless you want to have a cool small fire and you want to see some stuff go spark, spark, spark and blow up, it's cool. Go ahead and try it. But unless the power supplies are made to do it, it won't work. 
because it acts just like two batteries. If you have two batteries, even if they're identical batteries, the stronger battery, if you wire them in parallel, is always going to draw off of the weaker battery. So you've got one battery discharging while the other one is compensating and drawing off of it. So you don't end up with anything out. You end up with actually the same, the same amount of power. So if you do a power supplies and you're dealing with two 100 amp power supplies and you hook them together and that starts happening, that's not good because now you've got an under load, you've got 100 amps of current flowing between the two, that can get pretty bad. But if the power supplies are made to handle it, it's a beautiful thing. Then you can parallel positive to positive, negative to negative between the two power supplies and double your amperage output. So that is why the company sent me two 100 amp power supplies because I can actually get 200 amps of current now. So as a competitor, think about this. If you've got a large system, three, 400 amps of current, you can buy three or four of these power supplies, parallel them across, and get the amperage you need to run your stereo at a show, plugged into AC outlets, and everyone can enjoy how badass your install is. That's what you need. And you can do it for a fraction of the price of going through these other companies. Now these other companies that are selling on the audio market for $300, $400, they don't say anything about being able to be parallel. I don't know if they can or not. They don't give me any information. So there's no way in hell now when you compare apples to apples, we're not even comparing anymore. Because there, maybe they can, but they don't tell you. But the Power Max, definitely you can. Or you can series the power supplies and make them 24 volt outputs. What does the power supply do? Well, these power supplies are not junk. There's th three stage power supplies. If you hook it up to a dead battery, the power supply will automatically go into boost mode, which means it's gonna dump a ton of current to try and get that battery built up as fast as possible. Cool, nothing. You don't have to do anything. Nothing on your part, it's all automatic. Then they have the, the standard mode where you hook it up to a battery that's just low, it'll build it up. So it'll build it back up to its, you know, where it needs to be and it will stay there. And then you've got the maintenance mode, where if a battery's already built up, it's just going to stay there and keep it charged. There's no company I've found that comes close to selling this much power for this kind of price. On top of it, the company, I've spoke to them multiple times now, very easy to deal with. No hassle, no sitting on hold for four hours. Their customer service seems to be on par. I read up on them on the internet. I read plenty of reviews. I actually watched a couple YouTube videos of people did using them everybody's happy with them. So why haven't you heard of them? Because they're in the RV market. There are four or five very reputable RV companies that were selling them for $160, $170. That is such a good price for a 108 power supply. There's no reason competitors shouldn't be jumping all over this power supply and using them. Throw them under the car at a show, plug them in, hook them up to your system, and be done. Let the spectators enjoy your car. It's going to work. That's it. It's pretty simple. I love it. Um, someone like me, a nerd, power supplies are very important. They're important for us to have on hand because we need the power on tap. We need to be able to test things, hook things up. Um, this power supply, you can, I think they sell 25, 50, 75, and 100 amp. They do have different models with different amperages. I'm pretty positive though, you can't parallel two different power supplies. So you don't want to take a 100 amp power supply and a 50 amp power supply and parallel them together and think you're going to get 150 amps out. Pretty sure that doesn't work. Um, if I'm wrong, that would be awesome, but I'm pretty positive it's not going to happen. You're going to have problems. You need to have the same model power supplies to parallel or to series them. Thank you very much to the company for sending me two of them because there are a lot of big amps coming out of CES I'm hoping to get a hold of to throw a test on. And now I finally will have the power to do it. And if I need more, all I got to do is order more from them, stack them, keep paralleling them, and I just keep getting more current. Tell me. I'm Cave Sipes. The PowerMax PM3-100 power supply gets a Cave Sipes thumbs up. It's Cave Sipes approved. Thank you for watching my video. Till next time.